So you made it. 2021 is coming to an end. And 2022 starts tomorrow. Over this past year, there's been many big trials and tribulations in the world. But there's also been a lot of really good things that have happened. People who have stepped up to help one another. People who have worked hard to help people who are sick. People who brought food to people who couldn't get out of their house. You know, people who figured out ways to use technology to people who were unable to go to work could now could now work from home. There's a lot that happened this year that was really, really good. We discovered we discovered a whole bunch of new things this year. We discovered how much we, we kind of like ordering things and having it show up. <laughs> you know, we, we, we learned all kinds of interesting things this year. When you're coming to the end of, end of a year, often people will sit in, the, in the, the remembrance of the hard things that happened and what a tough year it was. And in reality, r- sitting in the remembrance of that is focusing on that, the hardness, the, the, the difficulties, the struggles. But take some time today on the, the last day of the year, or the day of reflection to, to look back and, and recognize yourself for all the kind and loving things you did, even if those kind and loving things were just for yourself. Because that is important as well, to love yourself unconditionally. You know, when things got tough, did you help out? When things got difficult, were you able to work your way through? Did you have the, the wherewithal to, to make it through? I mean, you're sitting here right now obviously watching a video on some electronic device that, you know, you, you obviously could still afford. You're still here. You're not, you're not living out in the, in the street homeless, right? If you've made it through, then, then congratulate yourself. Show yourself some, some love for, for recognizing the, that you made it through. Also recognize all the good things that you did for other people. Recognize all the things that stand out as a positive in the world. Look at all the positive over the past year. Look at all of the, all of the new amazing things that are going on. And focus on, on more of that, please. That's one of the things that I love so much. More of that, please. You know, oftentimes when good things happen in my life, the first thing I say is, oh, thank you, more of that, please. And putting that focus back on telling God that this, this is what I like and this is what I like to focus on. This is the thing that, that, that makes me strive and thrive. You know, it's been a very good year for me in that I feel like I've come back out this year and have fully – Embrace my authentic self again. I feel overwhelmed and overjoyed at this community that, that, that I'm finding on YouTube that is really ready to raise the level of consciousness of our planet. I'm, I'm, I'm just giddy at the number of people who say to me, this feels true to me or this resonates with me or I've always known this. I just have never heard anybody say it. You know, the, that to me is, is a beautiful thing that's happened to me for this year. You know, it's been amazing. And as I record this today, it is Christmas Day. And I know you're, you're going to get this in a week from now. But as I record this today, it is Christmas Day. And the more I say, you know, more of this, please, more of this, please, you people bless me with more and more every day. You bless me with a lot of stuff. You bless me with, with beautiful le- letters and emails and, and positive reinforcements. Um, you know, there's always one or two that, that aren't this kind, but the, even those are not terrible. Um, you know, those are, I just, I, I dismiss them. But, so, you know, even, those, even the, way they're atta- the way they come at me is not nearly as bad as it was 15 years ago. So there's a shift even in that as element of it. Another element is that, you know, we've done a, done a healing workshop. We've done all kinds of things this year that have been able to get me to work out and help me keep a roof over my head. And 
I said, you know, more of that, please. You know, more of that, please. And every day, I'm, I'm booking new new private sessions, which have become have been amazing. I've been amazed at how well they're they're doing. Um, I literally write down, start taking an automatic, do a little bit of automatic writing before each session. I've been amazed at the, some of the stuff that's been coming through for the people that come in. Um, I'm amazed at. at the connections that I'm making, the people who are who are coming in, and I'm able to to talk to them and meet them where they are, and and I I just feel so blessed by that. I feel so blessed by that. You know, my 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 meditation recordings and my regression. You know, I I sell one or two every other day. You know, and they help me keep the roof over my head. Today being Christmas Day. <laughs> <clears throat> I bought a lottery ticket yesterday because I thought it'd be fun. And uh, I won $200 on my lottery ticket, um, which I think is <laughs> really fun. More of that, please, right? So at the end of the year, think about the good things that you've been through, the good things that you've overcome, and, and, and the bad things that you've overcome. Don't even think about that. Think about how the amazing element of the things that you've done, the who you are, the, the amazing things you've accomplished, the fact that you're even here and breathing is amazing and a miracle, right? So, so look at all those great accomplishments and then turn it to it and say, more of that, please. More great accomplishments for me this year. More great accomplishments that help other people. I am living a loving life and joyful. And more of that, please. And that's, that's what you should be reflecting on on the last day of the year. And then after that, tomorrow... There'll be another video out about the start of a new year. So you guys have a great night. Be safe on, on New Year's Eve, if, you, if you're getting this on New Year's Eve. Uh, um, and um, I look forward to communicating with you all again this year. I'm very excited about that. So I'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye.